Hey YouTubers, this is Nike Tenno here with a quick video for you guys. Um, this video is actually going to be telling you guys how to put games right onto the memory stick in your PlayStation Portable. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is obviously you're going to need a PlayStation Portable. You're also going to need a memory stick to put the game on. And you're going to need a sync cable, maybe. You're only going to need a sync cable if your computer does not um, read memory sticks, such as the Memory Stick Pro Duo. That's not the case for me because my, I have a Sony Vaio, so for sure it does read memory sticks. Just pop it into my computer, as I'll show you later on in this video. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously download the file that you want. Um, a game. Now, um, this is going to be a little bit complicated for some of you, what I say when I say this. Um, the game has to be in a .cso format. Uh, what that means is um, basically it's just like movies are in mp3s, uh, some videos are in mp4s, some videos are in um, WM, um, uh, Windows Media files, y you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so it's got to be in .cso format, so when you search for your game, make sure you search for it with a .cso at the end. For example, I searched for a game called Twisted Metal Head On .cso. You're going to want to download your game and um, save it onto your desktop. Alright, so let's go over to my computer here. Sorry guys, just gotta move this cable here. Alright, so what you're gonna want to do first is obviously take your um, PSP memory stick, pop it into your computer, or connect it via USB. So just pop in the memory stick. There you go, I popped in my memory stick. And then, um, just move that there. Then what you're going to want to do is um, close that up and go to your computer. Just open that up. And then double click on under devices with removable storage. Just double click on your memory stick. And it'll give you all the folders in your memory stick. Alright, let me just move this closer to show you guys. There are all the folders in my memory stick. As you can see right now, sorry for some shaking my hand, guys. I'm gonna try to hold it still. As you can see, there is a dot. I, uh, there's an ISO folder. There it is, just ISO. That's what you guys are gonna want to create or make sure that you have. Okay, that's a very important. Guess where you're gonna put your game. So if there is a folder, great. If there's not, just um, create a new folder called ISO. Next, what you're gonna want to do is just open up the ISO folder. You can see the file's already in there. Just close this up. So, um, what you're also going to want to do is just take your game, drag it, and drop it right there on the um, in the ISO folder. Now, it's going to say, copying your item. It'll only take a couple of seconds. For me, it's about to take about 30 seconds because I have a really fast computer. And so, yeah. Just give it a little bit. Alright, there you go. It's done. Now, what you're going to want to do is remove your memory stick out of your computer, or remove it via USB. Let's go back to the PlayStation. Alright, so we got our PlayStation Portable here. What you're going to do is just pop in your PSP memory stick. And then go to the, um, the game icon in your PSP. Go down to the memory stick, the very bottom one then just press X. Then as you can see, Twisted Metal he Head-On has been added to my collection of games. So all you do is just go over and just press X and the game will start just like a normal PSP game would. But you're playing it right off your memory stick. Alright, I'm just going to leave it on there for a little bit for you guys to just see that uh, it is actually a um, PSP game. Alright, yeah, so there you go, it is a PSP game. So just press home and let's exit that screen. All right, there you go, guys. Um, just a, a quick reminder. I'm sure you got most of you already know this, but obviously your PSP has to be hacked in order for you to play this. As you can see in my system settings, let me just go down to my system software. And as you can see, I am on 4.01 M33-2. That is my firmware number, which is an, a custom firmware. So, um, yeah. 
you, your PSP has to be hacked, and if it's hacked, you, this should work with you no problem. It's the simplest way to get movies onto your PSP, or games, sorry, onto your PSP. If you have any questions, comment, and please subscribe, you guys. Please support me. I'm doing this for nothing, just um, to help people. So please subscribe to my videos, and um, yeah. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. That's what I gotta say, guys. Alright, this is Nike 10 signing out.